Hey guys, this is Prasad Banerjee from Major.in and today for once we are not going to talk about a phone. We are going to review the Micromax Canvas Lab Book. So this is the first laptop from Micromax. They had launched a laptop earlier and they had said that it is a laptop. But it wasn't that, that's a tongue twister, you know, laptop, lab book, laptop. So what I'm saying is that the laptop wasn't exactly a laptop. It was more of a hybrid, it was a hybrid device. It was a Windows tablet along with a keyboard. But this one, the lab book, is a laptop. It is a netbook. It comes with a full-size keyboard. It has an 11.6 inch display, a 5000mAh battery. And I'm going to tell you about it. What I'm going to keep repeating throughout this review is that this is strictly for the basic user. It costs only $13,999 which is an amazing price because that puts it cheaper than the ASUS eBook X205 TA, the HP Stream 11 and a lot of Chromebooks. So overall, imagine this as a Chromebook but one that runs Windows. It is in the same category and it is meant for a very basic user but it has its pros and cons. To start with, the lab book comes with a full-size keyboard, a nearly full-size keyboard that is. The travel between keys is quite nice, it's pretty easy to use, the keyboard didn't give me any issues whatsoever and my usual typing speed remained here, I didn't have to, you know, there was no learning curve to it. The same cannot be said about the trackpad though, you can scroll using two fingers and you can pinch to zoom and pinch out and all that but the pinch to zoom and pinching in and out is not really seamless so often you will be trying to zoom in but you'll end up zooming out because it's maybe too sensitive or something like that so the trackpad may have been a little better but again at 3999 i'm not really complaining this device has two usb ports an hdmi port a micro sd slot and thankfully it charges with a thin pin dc adapter so that is a good thing because a laptop charged with a micro USB and because of that it took a long long time to charge. The good thing here is that the DC adapter charges this device quite fast. Something I did not like in the laptop. Moving on to the build then, what you may not like about the lap book is its overall looks. It is very pedestrian, very simple but if you ask me I quite like this. The pedestrian, even though this is pedestrian and simple it is still maintaining its own personality this is definitely not a bad looking device and it weighs only 1.3 kg so it's very easy to carry around and you can carry it around quite easily with you in your bag or whatever it doesn't fall in the ultra light category and it is not as light as the asus ebook x205 ta but then between the x205 ta which weighs 980 grams and this one which weighs 1.3 grams I don't see a lot of difference considering that the X205 TA is also worth 15,000 bucks so that is something you have to keep in mind and price wise yes the X205 TA does look better and it is lighter but to be honest I won't really mind this build either and even though it is made of plastic the device is quite sturdy and there's no flex anywhere it's not like the touchpad flexes or the keyboard flexes there's no flex it's a very well built device and i don't know in this price seems like a pretty good device what i don't like at all about the lab book is its display my problem here is that this is an 11.6 inch display it has a 1366 by 768 pixel resolution but the viewing angles are really bad in good light you may not often realize it but what happens is for basic users who will basically just be browsing, typing, watching a few videos on this, this is going to be a problem because while you're watching a video, you'll suddenly realize that there's a color shift because you change your position a little bit and that can be a real big problem for a lot of people. So even when I was watching videos on this, I kept having to move, tilt the display, I kept having to you know, shift the position, shift my position based on where the display is and that is something I do not like. That is another reason why you may not want to choose this overall though the laptop is a very good device it costs 13999 which automatically gives you a very good buying proposition but who should use it it's only meant for a very basic basic user so imagine you're buying a netbook for your parents who will just maybe do a little bit of skyping a lot of browsing some writing typing watching a few videos for them this is a good device if you want to play games and all well most games will not run on this and the ones that do they are also going to make this laptop stutter 
so yeah you you're not buying this for anything more than the most basically 